So I'm not going to lie. I see Hancock, and I come out of it thinking to myself, I be damned. We get a black superhero as a main character in a big summer blockbuster, and what do they do? They make him a homeless, drunk asshole. Now, of course, I'm all pissed off about this, and I'm angry as hell, and I get on the internet ready to write some mad emails, and then I stop and I think, hey, 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 wait a minute, hold on. Seriously, how many other black superheroes have we had throughout recent film history? Well, I went back and did some research, and people, I gotta tell you, compared to what's out there, Hancock is a downright badass. I mean, sure, these other black superheroes aren't as big of a dick as Hancock, but they just suck. So here's my list of a few black superhero movies I was able to find. We'll start with the worst and move our way up from there. Number seven, Blank Man. Damon Wayans as a black nerd. Please call me Blank Man. Who puts on a mask and tries to become a crime fighter. Now, I, I think that says it all right there. Now a little bit of trivia right here, like you really want to know Blank Man trivia, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Before they went with the whole nerd thing, the character was actually supposed to be a mentally handicapped person. Look, I'm a crime fighter. Honestly, I don't see the difference. Number six, Steel. Now here's a guy who is an actual DC Comics character that was spun off from the Superman series. And I'll admit, I've only read one comic with this character, so I don't really know that much about him. But I always said, well, hey, he looks kind of cool. However, when you take NBA star Shaquille O'Neal and put him in a RoboCop costume, then you've got problems. And listen, I don't want to be mean, but l let's be honest. Shaquille O'Neal ain't exactly a Shakespearean actor. Up there! Throw it! Quick! Throw it! I never made these! Listen, I really do respect Shaq as a basketball player. And I actually think he's a charming guy but it's just hard to imagine him as a superhero, especially when he looks like a poor man's transformer with a black man's head poking out of it. Get your ass on out of here. Let's move on to number five, Meteor Man. Robert Townsend plays a high school teacher who stumbles across a meteor that gives him superpowers. So from there, he goes about fixing the inner city by closing crack houses, bringing gangs together, and fighting the gayest looking crime syndicate in town. I mean, they just look fabulous. Now, I don't want to come down too hard on Meteor Man. I mean, after all, it was a family film. But, I mean, he's got that, good morning, sir, smile on his face. That He's got that generic ass mustache. And that part in his hair just kills everything. Not to mention that that puffy, foamy costume, it's childish. It's, it's just childish. Can you honestly picture him rescuing some hot chick from a burning building? Hell no. Let's move on to number four, Abar, the first black Superman. With every great superhero, they have a great origin story to go with it. And Abar's origin story by far is the most entertaining. Check this out. Social activist Abar tries to help a black family that is being terrorized by their racist neighbors. When the family's son is murdered, the father finally reveals the secret experiment he's been working on. Suppose I could uh, make you indestructible. Oh, you need proof? Well, watch this. Bulletproof rabbits, boy. You gotta love that shit. Anyway, it turns out that Abar is not only indestructible, but he has the power to change problems in the ghetto by just staring at them. Like when he stares at the local wino so hard that they end up drinking milk. Hey, who am I to criticize? Whatever gets the job done, right? But I'll be the first to admit that the power to change things just by looking at them real hard, that's kind of boring. Ah, uh, well, whatever. I still really love this movie. I'm just saying that Abar is not the greatest superhero in the world. Okay, at this point, you're probably asking yourself, Man, Corey, are there any cool black superheroes in movies out there? Well, my friend, the answer is yes. So let's change gears right here and talk about a few of them. Starting with number three, Rudy Ray Moore. Actually, Mr. Moore is an actor, singer, comedian guy who plays a lot of badass characters. You probably know him for his most famous creation, Dolomite. 
Now you're saying, hold on, hold on, Corey. That's not fair. You can't just pick an actor. Yet I challenge you to watch such masterpieces as Disco Godfather or my personal favorite, The Human Tornado, and witness the might, the madness, and the magic. Rise, motherfucker, rise! Stay up there until I release you and not see this man as no mere mortal. Number two, Undercover Brother. Okay, so technically Undercover Brother is more of a black super spy with no real superpowers, but come on, it, it's slim pickings here, okay? And this is probably Eddie Griffin's best work. I mean, the brother must have had some sort of superpower if he didn't get on my nerves during this whole movie. Finally, that brings us to number one, who is Blade. Undeniably a true superhero. Not only does he have his roots in Marvel Comics first appearing in the Tomb of Dracula, but he runs around the city with a sword. He knows Kung Fu, and if that's not enough, he's half a vampire. He's like a cross between Bruce Lee, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Blackula. Bleh, motherfucker. If that shit ain't super, I don't know what is. And that's it for me. Of course, if you have anything you'd like to add, I'd love to hear it. You cook me well. The blind man is here. See ya.